I use the Winsor Newton Cotman Half Pen Studio Set. It comes with 45 colors and I think it's pretty decent quality. I use the Winslow Aquarelle Cold Press 200 GSM watercolor paper, and my brushes are just cheap, no brand brushes. I just use a bowl or whatever circular object I have laying around to trace a circle. I start these kinds of moon or planet-like paintings by dampening the circle with a really light wash of watercolor. I'm going in here with light washes of navy and some purples, adding water as I go. I just have fun with this part because you won't be able to see most of it later. It's kind of like a primer for the painting. I push around the paint and the water to carve out the shape of a circle. I then pick up some pigment on my brush and drop it on the places where I would like the craters to be. Using a reference photo might help for this, but I just wing it because it usually ends up looking alright anyways. That's the cool thing about painting these moon planet kind of things. I like to clean my brush and drop water droplets in places because it plays with the pigment nicely. I kind of switch between that and dropping heavy pigment. I'm kind of just going with it here. When I paint these moons, I try not to think about it too much. I kind of just let however I'm feeling flow out of my paintbrush and let the canvas take me wherever it wants to. Just dropping pigment here and there and letting it bleed out. I like to go in with a crumpled tissue because it picks up the pigment and leaves a crinkled texture behind. I'm just playing around with textures here. Just playing with blues and purples, still not thinking about it too much. Going in with a clean, dry paintbrush is also a great way to pick up pigment and get the white spaces back, which is what I'm doing here. Just dropping water in random places again. All of these strange things I'm doing come together to bring nice depth of layers and interesting textures in the end. I'm kind of just repeating the same processes over and over again, building up the layers. splattering some of the pigment over the moon. It's important to do this while it is still damp so that the splatters blend nicely and that there aren't any harsh spots or anything like that. Now for my favorite part. I'm just sprinkling a very very light pinch of salt over the canvas. It's important not to do too much else it will ruin it. What the salt does is it draws in moisture which plays with the pigment in the most interesting way. After the salt has drawn in most of the moisture, I go back in dropping pigment in the areas where I want the craters to be, blending out any harsh lines from spots that have already dried up with a wet clean brush. Now I'm going in with some brighter pigments of blues, purples and violets just to add an interesting pop of colour. I'm only adding these pigments in the wet spots so that they bleed and blend out nicely and they aren't too bright and harsh. Now I'm just carving out part of the circle with some darker colours to give dimension to the round shape. I'm only focusing this on one side. Now I'm just adding a few drops of water for that nice ink bleed effect that it gives. Here 
Here I'm just going in with a crinkled tissue again to bring back those layers of white paper with that nice texture. And blending out any harsh lines with a clean wet brush. I'm just going in with some white watercolour paint now. This adds a nice and subtle translucent layering effect. I'm focusing this in the areas around the craters as it makes the craters appear deeper. And now I'm going back in with a clean dry brush which helps to really accentuate the whites in the highlighted areas. Once that's a little bit dry, I went in with my white Uniball Signo pen and just drew some little dots and stars and sparkles. Now I'm just using my white 0.9 to 1.3 millimeter Posca pen to draw in this thing. I don't even know what it's called, but it's like in all the pictures of the moons. And then I'm just doing another little one of those down here. And then I'm just going in with a clean damp brush to blend it out so it isn't as harsh. I don't have any white ink or a white acrylic paint, so I'm actually using the ink from one of my old Posca pens. And then I'm just going and splattering this across the moon like so. And that's about it.